this uh, great cooperation between uh, yeah, order playing Sweden and order playing around the world on a personal level, like with Constantino, and also from a cultural point of view. I think it's the reason why we are so stable and strong over time. Uh, 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 during the meeting, I think you could feel that there was one culture in that room and all of the world was represented. And th th that culture is really about entrepreneurship, the feeling that you have the tools to make a difference for yourself. If you have that freedom, you could say, then everything else falls into place. And that, that's a great feeling. And, and recognizing all religions, all parts of the world, it's just a great feeling. And, and that's why Robert and Jonas, they wake up every day asking about Oriflame, how was sales yesterday? When is the next conference? They've been sitting here for six, seven hours. And Jonas, I mean, you are maybe not 30. <laughs> so th that energy comes from this uh, culture and combination of entrepreneurship. Uh, and that's why you love Oriflame. And, and when we landed today, I, I, I realized there are many interesting similarities to where Oriflame has been during the last five, six years and Greece. If you go back five years ago, Oriflame was in a small mini crisis. We were still profitable and we were still big, but we were struggling to see where are we going in the future. The world is changing for all countries and all companies and we are all worried, what does it mean for us? And we were feeling that the business was slowing down. We were not seeing that the hard work was paying off. And that was starting to worry us. We had to reduce uh, the number of employees. We had to think carefully about the cost everywhere. And more importantly, we had to think very carefully about our strategy. And during these tough years, it, it, they have been very good for Oriflame. We have had very good discussions on what is the core of Oriflame. What makes us relevant in good times, in tough times, and what is relevant going forward. And, and, and Magnus will probably mention more about this, but the fact is that we have set a great strategy. We feel a lot of confidence about the future demonstrated in the meeting today. And in Greece, it's a little bit the same, same thing. It has been a tough time, but it also makes you feel, uh, think hard about what is important for the future. And, and the fact that we are coming here today is not because, it's because many factors. First of all, we, we came with two big ships, no problem. There were 100 buses waiting for us. Immigration took a bit of time, but in general, it was very smooth. That is not so easy in, in many places. We, we, we went to a big conference hall, no problem. So Greece as a tourist destination, as a service provider, and also talking to the taxi driver, or actually the driver, and we were talking about Greece, and he said, we are hard working entrepreneurs. And I want more people to understand that Greece is filled with hardworking people, entrepreneurs, people we love in Oriflame. And that combined with your ancient history and the lovely Constantinos is one of the many reasons why we come here. So, <laughs> Oriflame has a good future and we will continue to be active in Greece. Thank you very much.